What's up guys, Mike from Rockville here to introduce the new Rockforce 384 DMX controller. This is one of the easiest to use DMX controllers on the market, but don't let that fool you. This is a powerful and intelligent DMX controller that has 384 DMX channels, 30 banks of 8 programmable scenes, 6 user set chases, and the unit can control 24 intelligent lights of up to 16 channels. On top of that, it has a durable gig-to-gig -gig design with a steel chassis and rubber side grips to give it additional protection and portability. There's DMX outputs on the back of the device that allow you to go straight into the light fixtures. And on top of that, there's a built-in USB power source that allows you to power the built-in lamp that comes with the Rockforce 384. But you can also use it to power a MIDI controller that uses USB power. Speaking about MIDI, you could use the MIDI in to go directly into a keyboard and control the lights and scenes. There's a built-in microphone in the Rockforce 384 that can controls the music mode, but we'll talk about that a little later. Let's just go into the basics of recording a scene and running a chase. So we're gonna set a scene that only uses the reds in the light grid, so let's get to that. I have, you can see, all the reds out there now. So now it goes really into programming the scene. How do we program? We go over to this side of the Rockforce 384, hit the program mode, you'll notice that the program LED starts flashing back and forth. So now we're in program mode. So anything that we're gonna wanna record onto the Rockforce 384 happens in program mode. So now we wanna set this as scene one. Press MIDI add and then scene one. You'll see the whole system flash and we've recorded scene one. So scene one was all the reds. Let's do scene two as all the green. So I'm gonna bring this faders up, bring the red ones down. See, it's that simple. Now I'm going to go MIDI add, scene two. Whole system flashes, we're good, we're good. So scene one, scene two. Now let's go into recording our chase. A chase is a series of sequential scenes that are run in the order that you set them in. We're gonna start by programming chase one. So let's go to MIDI add, chase one, scene one, MIDI add. Cool, so we added that scene one as the first thing in that chase. Now we'll go back to scene two. Scene two, MIDI add. Now how do we run the chase? All you do is you click chase one. You'll see that the chase will pop up. So that's chase one because that's the chase that we set up. Then you press auto, and then you're gonna have to adjust these faders. And then you hit it auto again. You see, it's running crazy. You can adjust the speed of how fast it goes through the different scenes that we set with the speed knob. So you see now it's going at a much slower rate. If I go all the way up, it goes crazy. Really cool thing that you can do is this music mode. You'll see that as I clap, it's changing through all the scenes that we programmed. So that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with DMX programming, recording a scene or recording a chase. Remember, the Rockforce 384 is a powerful and intelligent DMX controller that allows you to control very complex scenarios, but because it's so easy to use, it's perfect for both amateurs and professionals who are looking for an easy to use but powerful programmable controller. If you liked what you saw in this video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville, I'll see you next time.